Hello everyone, it's me Lepton once again. Hope everyone is doing fine. Uh, finally, uh, today I'm going to discuss about some strategy regarding uh, geoscientist main examination. I have been trying to upload this video for the past, <laughs> I think two weeks, but because of my busy schedule, I couldn't able to make this video. But today, here I am, I'm going to share some of my experience and some of the strategy, uh, which you should uh, follow while preparing for this geoscientist examination hopefully you guys will like it and you will learn something from it uh, so every one of you who are preparing for this geoscientist examinations are aware of this main syllabus uh, you can download it from upsc uh, web website uh, here this main consists of three papers that is paper one two and three uh, which carries 200 marks each and the exam examination duration is of three hours. Unlike during our page, uh, there were four papers. Uh, there were one extra English papers where we have to uh, pass the cutoff marks, which was a little bit difficult for many of us. So, but this time, since the syllabus is changed, uh, once the prelims has been aided, this English has been um, removed. So, for you guys, you don't have to go through this English papers. So. Uh, before you start preparing for this geoscientist examination, one thing, the first thing you should be aware is you should know the syllabus. What are the topics that are being included? You should be, uh, your syllabus should be in your fingertips. And once you are aware of the syllabus of all the three papers, then you, one, another most important thing is you should go through past year question papers. Personally, for me, I go through 10 years question papers since 2009 to 2019. So I go through question papers, at least 10 years question papers, and I uh, wrote or I make in, in my diary, I wrote all the questions that are being asked from particular topics. And I and once I download and once i analyze those past year question papers you will get some idea of what type of questions are being asked for the past 10 years so in that way uh, it makes very easy while making notes as well as when you study uh, you know what other type of question are being asked obviously uh, there are some um, changes uh, in uh, each every year but obviously it's geology so uh, the topic won't change the answer won't change so only the type of questions are changed so you should go through uh, first the syllabus and once you're aware of the syllabus you go through past year 10 question uh, past year question paper at least 10 year question papers and in that way it will be very helpful because personally for me it really helped me while making notes so you should also do that now i have discussed the first strategy now secondly uh, once you're acquainted with the uh, syllabus as well as the exam type of questions that are being asked next is notes making so once uh, when it comes to notes making uh, many people find it very difficult what how you should make but firstly uh, for me uh, I started making notes only when I joined MSc so most of the students start making notes um, only from MSc so uh, I would suggest you to start preparing uh, from your BSc final year or yeah earlier than that because the earlier you make the notes the better and then for people who are uh, making notes from MSc for me I um, I make notes for my MSc exams exams as well as uh, keeping in mind regarding this uh, geoscience examination so I make one notes but I'm uh, keeping in mind I'm making it notes for both MSc as well as for geoscience examination so in that way you save a lot of uh, time and when you are making notes uh, you should go through your university syllabus as well as GSI syllabus because some uh, my university uh, it was more or less similar almost 90 to 95 persons were similar with gsi syllabus so for me i don't find it much difficult so while making notes you should try to make each and every topics that have been given in gsi, GSI syllabus so that uh, you won't uh, skip any uh, any questions or answers which has been asked in this uh, geoscientist examination and Coming back to notes making, uh, how I make notes, like uh, many people 
ask me how I make notes, like how did you manage it, like it depends on you. Uh, for me, people, many people have a tendency like what type of books that you share you have referred uh, while making notes but personally for me really I'm telling you the truth I didn't refer much books uh, many people won't believe but for me I didn't refer much book obviously I refer some books but uh, almost 80 to 90 percent of the notes that I made I made it from either internet or from research papers uh, because I was having limited time so for me I was uh, I find it very difficult to go through all the books uh, and make notes so for me I make notes mostly from internet as well as from those research paper there are so many research papers and some university notes uh, other foreign university notes which is very helpful so for me I make notes like this. every one of you are writing the same notes which everyone has written from the same book so examiners won't uh, find it very attractive like it won't be so much catchy to give more marks but if you write something uh, totally a little bit different from the books like internet or some research papers or recent findings or with a new data then you will score more marks so while making notes i feel like you should go through uh, of, of course you should go through textbook but for me personally i uh, prefer uh, more on internet and research papers uh, any experience are uh, started asking mm, the books that you should refer so for like i told you i haven't referred much textbooks so uh, i don't have much idea but those books which i have referred i have mm, dropped in this uh, description below so you can check in my description and there you will find the uh, various books which I have referred from uh, different uh, topics or from different uh, papers so you can go through that and when it comes to notes making uh, when you make notes you try to make notes for each and every topic that has been given in the UPSC uh, geoscientist syllabus because you don't know what are the type of questions will ask so for many students who don't like particular subject or particular topic they left that topic and they study only those topics which they are interested so uh, when it comes to UPSC Joint Scientist examination since you are going to compete with all over India then uh, you don't have to leave any topic even if you don't like the topic also you should make notes at least three four lines so that even if they ask that particular question you can attempt at least something so that you can score uh, some few marks so it number one when you are making notes try to make notes for each and every topic that has been given in the syllabus and secondly uh, when you are making notes don't make it very lengthy like during our MSc we used to prepare notes like three four pages but uh, don't make it very lengthy you are going to give uh, competitive exam not uh, your semester examination so when when you are making notes you try to make as short as possible uh, which should include what uh, what is needed for that particular topic so you should make as short as possible and at, at the same time once when you are making notes, you, you try to make it in point wise or uh, you in bullet form most of the uh, in that way you will find it more easier and at the same time like you when you go for revision uh, it will find it very easy directly uh, when you are making notes again uh, try to um, write in a tabular form or you should put recent discoveries or recent data or like and in every uh, question you try to elaborate with the diagrams or you try to um, explain with the diagrams because without, uh, when it comes to geology diagram is a must or a flow chart is a must so when you are preparing notes you try to make uh, diagrams as well as flow charts or you can even uh, make it in a tabular forms like uh, Mm, like transform fault and transcurrent fault like you differentiate it like in that way you will find it more easier for you to study and at the same time when it comes to uh, when it comes to revision you will find it easier to go through it so you do that 
And another important thing uh, from my experience, uh, when you are making notes, you try to make notes uh, with different colors. Suppose you are writing with a particular topic, then you, uh, while explaining that particular topic, you use one color pen and another topic uh, you use with a different pen so that it find it very attractive for me. Personally, I like colors, so uh, it attracts you. And when you open your books, you feel like you, you want to study. So once you are making notes, you try to use different uh, types of colors so that you will find it easier. And at the same time, it will find it very interesting and playful to study. Uh, but um, it's it's your wish. You can, uh, because in UPSC examination, you cannot use those colorful, colorful pencils or pen. So, but once you are making notes, uh, for your exam preparation, I, I think like it's very really good if you use different. So you can also try it. And hear some noises uh, when I'm talking. So please bear with me. And another uh, thing, uh, I just want to give you another strategy while preparing for your this main examination. When it comes to mineralogy and uh, this distribution of minerals or it it's very difficult for us to memorize those things so for me uh, i prepare a, in a chart i prepare all the uh, minerals like pyroxene family feldspar family mica family like all this family all these uh, things i prepared in a particular chart and i keep it in my study tables so that when I study or when I don't feel like studying those particular topic, I just go through those uh, chart and I keep on seeing those particular topics. So for me, I find it very easy uh, when it comes to again mineralogy because every time when I sit in the table, I see those particular. At the same time, again, when it comes to this origin of uh, or uh, this ores, minerals and distribution, again, I the same way i make a chart and then suppose for iron suppose for uh, aluminium suppose for gold diamond uh, whatever economic minerals it is i make in a tabular form uh, and then i keep it in another just nearby my bed so that when i sleep or when i just lay in bed i can just see those particular topics so in that way uh, it find it easy it will be very helpful for you so you can also do that uh, i just want to share one strategy from my experience and this will be helpful for those students who have started preparing for two three uh, started preparing uh, only from two three months before the examination because even me also i do this from my seniors uh, guidance uh, i i started making notes from each and every paper suppose like from paper one I make I choose three favorite uh, unit or chapters uh, and in the same way from paper two also I choose three favorite topics and even three also like that and I for for that particular three topics I make notes for each and every topics that has been given in that particular unit suppose I have choose sedimentology suppose I have choose igneous petrology metamorphic or mineralogy for that topics which I have choose I make notes for each and every topics and the two unit that I have left I didn't make notes but I go through this MSc notes which I have prepared during my uh, MSc exam preparation you don't have to leave any topic you have to go through each and every topic at least you should know something or the other from that particular topic because you never know what are the type of questions will be asked so you should never leave any topic while making notes so that was my strategy uh, while preparing for this uh, geoscientist examination from my experience but one thing i tell you this experience is for those students who are preparing at the last minute only so for those students who are preparing since before then you try to make each and every topic that has been given in the syllabus and like i told you don't make it very lengthy try to make either the bullet forms or point wise or in a tabular form and in each uh, explanation write the diagrams and another most uh, important thing is uh, you try to practice writing while making notes because when you uh, appear for UPSC geoscientist examination, uh, main examination, 
uh, there is no time to think or to take rest for five minutes or ten minutes because each and every question you have to divide uh, into the time and then you have to write it because you have to attempt all the questions and only after that only you will able to score good marks so once you are making notes start preparing for your notes try to practice writing don't try to write like two three pages uh, because if you start preparing notes like that then even in your examination also you will write like that and to write like that you won't even get time to be frank you won't even attain like 50 percent of the question so you try to write in a bullet form uh, so that uh, you will able to write the same in UPSC uh, main examination so practice writing while making notes so those are some of the strategy that you should uh, apply while preparing for this geoscientist main examination uh, hopefully you guys will learn something from it and start preparing for your main examination since the day you give the prelims because you won't get time so uh, prepare for your main examination wisely and in the next video I will try to upload the techniques which you should use while uh, writing for your main examination the things that you should do's and don'ts that you should do while uh, preparing or while writing your main examination so that video will be coming up next so uh, wait for it and in the meantime uh, try to prepare notes uh, and if you really really need help then you try to inbox me uh, you can find me either in Facebook also or in Instagram also or you can even uh, share uh, comment in the YouTube uh, so thank you so much and before I end my video I want each and every one of you uh, for continuously supporting my channel this last video which I've uploaded um, I had the most view and many people has commented uh, that it was very helpful for them also so I really thank each and every one of you for your kind support and continuous support uh, and share my videos with your juniors as well as with your classmates so that uh, it will be helpful for them also so thank you